Ah, hello YouTube! I was just gonna check my mail. Hopefully my Nook shopping order has arrived. Oh, it has! As well as a note from Dell. That's exciting! But let's get my Nook shopping! Wait, where did you go? I was just gonna show you my... Ah, oh, there you are! So now I can show you what I got in my Nook shopping order. YouTube, my name is Cezro and welcome to a really special Animal Crossing video. Now this is really exciting for me because I love Animal Crossing, I play Animal Crossing a lot but I've never made any Animal Crossing themed videos. So we're delving into the world of Animal Crossing New Horizons today because they released a special collector's edition box that looks like a Nook shopping box. I'm really excited to delve into what this collector's box has inside. I've tried to keep it as much a secret for myself as possible. But that being said, I am rather late to making this video. But in all honesty, I am pretty late to Animal Crossing in general. I got Animal Crossing for Christmas and I've been playing it since January. Relatively new, but this is what the box looks like. And honestly, the box is just so cute, I just want to keep the box. <laughs> is that bad of me? I just want to keep the box forever. I think that's a little bit bad. So I know that I am very late to sharing this collector's box because there's actually a new collector's box that has come out and when I was looking for that collector's box I found this collector's box and so I figured well I may not be the only person that's late to this collector's box so let's get it and have a look at what's inside. That and I can't actually find the other collector's box to buy anywhere in Australia. The only place I've seen that you can get the new collector's box is on Best Buy in the US, which do not ship to Australia, they only ship inside the US. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get that box, which is really annoying because I really want it, but I'm really happy that I've been able to get this box to share with you today. So I also wanted to do this video, just in case there's anyone who has no idea what's in this box and you'd be interested in getting the collector's box, you can have a look at what's inside this box and see if you'd be interested in getting it for yourself. So that being said, before we go any further in this video, I am not sponsored by Nintendo, which is a sentence I never thought I'd say. I feel like it's pretty obvious that I'm not sponsored by Nintendo because why would I be sponsored by Nintendo? I'm just not sponsored by anyone in this video. I'm also not sponsored by the place that I got this box from, which was EB Games. I'm not sponsored, just bought this myself. I will leave the link to the listing I got it from on EB Games in the description down below for all of my Australian people. And do EB Games ship to New Zealand? Are they in New Zealand as well? I have no idea, but I will leave the link to the listing that I bought this box from in the description down below. So so that you can get it for yourself if you're interested. So just before we get into opening it, let me tell you a little bit about what we can expect from this box. I'm gonna read a little bit from the listing. So it says, everything you need for your personal island paradise. Escape to a deserted island and create your own paradise as you explore, create and customize in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This Animal Crossing collector's box contains everything you could need to tend to your real life everyday chores. And I'm not gonna say any more because the rest are the spoilers for what's in the box. So let's get into the box. <laughs> So let me open it up. We'll see what's inside. Oh, some goodies that I can see. Let's go from what is right on the top. So the very first thing that we've got is this turnip sticky notepad. <laughs> I myself haven't had a lot of luck on the turnip stalk market. I haven't been playing Animal Crossing for very long, so I'm very new to the stalk market. I don't have any friends on Animal Crossing, so I only go based on what my offer is at the shop every day. So I've only had one really big payout for my turnips. Unfortunately, the majority of the time I actually perform at a loss. It's really annoying, but I will always try the stalk market. I think that these sticky notes are super cute, though. Have a look at them. So then the next thing I can see straight away we've got some cozy bed socks some cozy socks do they have anything in particular i mean they're yellow and brown let me just have a look oh hold on a second let me just um break this off because they've got isabel on the top of the sock how freaking cute 
is that Isabelle stitched into the top there. Super cute. Now, I generally don't wear socks to bed and I don't really wear bed socks to bed, but it is winter in Australia and I will wear these just around the house on a day-to-day -day basis. So that was the second thing. Really, really cool. Let's go with this thing that I can see next. What do we have? Oh, okay. We've got a wooden block calendar. So you can see we've got the Nook Boys up the back there. So it includes three month blocks and two numerical days date blocks. To change the date, simply rotate the blocks and switch them so that the correct month and two digit date are showing front facing in the calendar frame. That's super cute. I love that it's the Nook Boys as well. Adorable. So we've got one really big thing that's sitting in front of me and it looks like a blanket. This is all I can see of it all folded up. Oh, we've got like the little tag, the little leaf tag on it. I'm assuming from the coloring that this could only be one thing and that is a bag of money in a blanket so let me unfold it oh yeah that's definitely a bag of money i'm gonna have to include a photo of me because this is a rather nice sized throw blanket i think this would be a ten thousand bell bag of money it's a pretty nice size and it's really nice feeling as well it's gonna be nice and warm like i said it's winter in australia so i'm gonna use this a lot that is super cute and we've got a couple more things that i can see let's go with this thing that's on the bottom because it looks like the knapsack that you can buy i think it's in nook shopping is it in Nook Shopping or is it with Nook Miles? I can't remember, but there's a knapsack that you can buy that has like the leaf and some other leaves and it's all brown. So that's what we've got here is the knapsack. Really cute bag and it's got like the little straps so you can wear it on your back. So really cool, nice and big size as well. Can always come in handy. Generally you use these things if you go to like the beach and stuff. So that's super handy thing to have. We got two more things in the box though. So let's go with what I can see in this plastic packaging, which is a journal. We've got a lined spiral journal. Let me just get it out of the packaging though. So here it is, super cute. We've got the cover art for Animal Crossing on the front there. And then we've got all these different tabs at the top that are the different fruits that you can get in Animal Crossing. So me specifically, my island fruit was apples. And then I can't remember what mum sent me in the first package because I think I must have eaten it instead of planting it, which is rather unfortunate. My sister fruit is pears. And then of course I found coconuts as well. So I've got apples, pears, and coconuts on my island. I do not have oranges, peaches, or cherries, unfortunately. I would love to be able to go back and have that first package from mum again to find out what it was that she actually gave me, which fruit she gave me. <laughs> so on the inside, I mean, look at this cute little big apple divider. So this is really, really cute. It's all just lined pages, very basic in that way but you've got different dividers so this would be really cool a really cool little notebook if you are writing about multiple things i might even potentially use this as like a gaming journal i already have a journal where i put like video ideas down but i could do like different games under each different fruit tab i think that'd be super cute so we've got one more thing and again it is in plastic packaging so it's going to be very noisy i might just get it out of the packaging and then show you what it is i'm super stoked to have this peach stress ball oh my freaking god how cute is this so let's give it a good old squeeze and then it comes right back up to shape. Super cute. So just a little uh, tidbit, a little fact about me. One of my nicknames actually is Peach. And I do have the word Peach tattooed on my wrist there. It's a little bit hard to see with the angle of my arm there. But I've been called Peach ever since I was an infant. My dad has been calling me Peach ever since I was a newborn. And it's caught on to the rest of the family to the point where like everyone calls me Peach in the family now. So I am Peach. And I'm super happy to have this peach stress ball. And I was kind of a little bit offended that I didn't have peaches on offer on my island. Not gonna lie. <laughs> super dang cute. So that is everything that came in this Animal Crossing collector's box. So I would like to tell you the details about this box. I mentioned earlier in the video that I did get this box from EB Games. It was an EB exclusive. You can also get it from Zing because Zing is the same company as EB Games. It just does the collectible side, whereas EB Games does like the games 
and also some collectibles as well. It is the Animal Crossing New Horizons Collector's Box. For it, I paid $68 AUD. So that is all I've got for this video, opening this Animal Crossing New Horizons Collector's Box. I would love to be able to try and get the new one that's come out. I'm going to be trying and checking everywhere that I would normally go. I want it very badly. So if you'd like to see me hopefully get that collector's box in the future to open, or if you'd like to see some other Animal Crossing videos, I might swing it. We might see if I can make some Animal Crossing videos over here because generally I make The Sims content, but I do have some really fun Animal Crossing and The Sims merge together ideas for you guys as well. So if you'd like to see any of those videos, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload. And if you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well. Let me know what your favorite thing was in this box. I think it's pretty dang obvious. I freaking love the peaches, but I also really love the blanket and I think that the turnip notepad is super cute as well. And the calendar, oh my goodness, I just love it all, <laughs> I do. But but guys, I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video. Bye!